Well, I suppose the question that I get asked more often than not uh, over the last few years is how we at Perpetual uh, can provide more visibility, uh, more certainly certainty and, and ultimately more predictability in delivering to the investment outcomes that many of our clients want. And to be frank, it's not necessarily the easiest question to answer. If you think about the way we add uh, build portfolios, uh, there's a lot more complexity in terms of the investment options that are available to us. Five years ago, people were talking about things like emerging market equities, they're now talking about emerging market debt and frontier market equities, infrastructure, private equity, commodities, you know, the list goes on. And all of that adds the potential for more diversity, different returns, different risks. It definitely adds more complexity in how we build portfolios, however. Looking forward, some of the thematics that we've uh, driven markets over the last 20 or 30 years, things like falling oil prices, falling inflation, falling unemployment, uh, rising leverage, rising asset prices, don't necessarily feel like the same thematics that would drive markets over the next 20 or 30 years. So all in all, it means that asset allocation should be very much front of mind. How we spend and allocate our capital is crucial, but probably what's more crucial is how we spend and allocate our risk. Thinking about predictability, uh, how do we deliver that? I suppose, unfortunately, there's no magic bullet as such. There's no one simple solution. I go to suggest that there are a number of tools that we have in our kit bags as investors. And I'd suggest that the more of those tools that we utilise, then probably the greater the probability that we can deliver to the predictability that many of our clients uh, are seeking. Um, when we think about uh, some of those tools, I'll just talk about one for brevity and talk about fixed income, I suppose one of the more exciting areas of portfolio construction. And when we think about fixed income, many of us tend to think about fixed income as, as arbitrary filling in buckets of, of global fixed income or Australian fixed income, populating benchmarks of the Composite Bond benchmark or the Barclay Global Ag in, Index. And those benchmarks are changing. And I think as portfolio construction, as constructors, what we need to think about is are our allocations to those benchmarks changing as the underlying benchmarks evolve. And I think that's very relevant over the last five or six years as we've seen the, the duration risk inherent in many of those benchmarks or the interest rate risks in those benchmarks increase quite significantly. In fact, durations become longer and longer. And at the same time that that interest rate risk is rising, the yield on those benchmarks is actually falling. It's getting lower and lower until the last couple of weeks. And that's a risk that investors have seen play out in the last couple of weeks. And from our perspective at Perpetual, it's certainly not a risk that people want to be passive about, and, uh, and more so they should be thinking about trying to build and construct their portfolios around the opportunities in markets, not necessarily just the benchmarks.